Ay, Tachili. Hey, Gambo. I don't feel so good. You look fine to me, Chili. Uh, 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 Baba, uh, maybe you should stop at the clearing. like it here, Baba. Let's go. <laughs> What's wrong with that guy? Next. This is too scary, Baba. We should leave. Luscious, will you join me? Yes, Nesmali. I like it here, Baba. Let's stay. Shall I take his temperature? We don't use those old mercury thermometers anymore, Luscious. This is the new single patient. Disposable next temp thermometer. The good news is there's no shakedown time, but it works just like the old thermometers. You still wait for one minute under the tongue and three minutes under the arm. The only difference is how you read the temperature because the next temp is a color change dot matrix thermometer. This next temp thermometer replaces the old mercury, digital, infrared, and glass type thermometers. We now use the modern, new generation, disposable, next temp thermometer. Let me explain. Before you start taking a patient's temperature, you should have the following ready. A watch with a second hand, your reading glasses, if required, the patient file and a pen. Always remember that before you use any medical device, you must wash your hands. After you've washed your hands, take out a thermometer strip from the box. Tear away one thermometer at the perforated line and peel away the thermometer's wrapper from the end indicated by the arrow. Be sure to hold the thermometer at the handle end, where you see the next temp name. Don't touch the grid end, that will be going into the patient's mouth. Once you've placed the grid end of the next temp thermometer in the patient's mouth, the rows of green dots will start to turn black to indicate the patient's temperature. The numbers on the thermometer are the value of the dot right next to it, going up a half degree towards the right. The patient's temperature reading is found by looking at the last dot to turn black. The next temp has two columns of grids. The left starts at 35.5 degrees and the right starts at 38 degrees. Moving from left to right, the temperature increases by 0.1 degree centigrade because it is accurate to one tenth of a degree. The black dot with the highest number on the grid represents the patient's actual temperature. This thermometer is recording a temperature of 37.3 degrees. Luscious, do you understand how to read it now? Mm, uh, no, Nesmeli. Let me explain it again. Once you've placed the grid end of the next temp thermometer in the patient's mouth, as far back as possible, in one of the two heat pockets, the rows of green dots will start to turn black to indicate the patient's temperature. The numbers on the thermometer are the value of the dot right next to it, going up a half degree at a time towards the right. Starting from 35.5, it goes up to 
35.7, 35.8 and 35.9. The next row starts with 36.0. Don't be confused and start counting at 36.1, even though this is a new row of numbers. This new row starts at 36.0, then goes to 36.1, 36.2, 36.3 and 36.4. After that, the next row starts at 36.5, and this pattern of the temperature going up at 0.1 degree at a time repeats itself all through the rows. The black dot with the highest number on the grid represents the patient's actual temperature. This temperature is 36.4 degrees. This temperature is 37.0 degrees. This temperature is 38.9 degrees. Mm -hmm. When you are ready to take the patient's temperature, ask the patient to open their mouth. <sighs> <sighs> and then insert the grid end of the thermometer into one of the two heat pockets underneath the tongue as far back as possible. <laughs> Make sure the green dots face upwards and are in contact with the underside of the tongue. Ask the patient to close their mouth, breathe through their nose and press down on the thermometer with their tongue for at least 60 seconds. Only one to two centimeters of the thermometer's handle should be sticking out of the patient's mouth. The next temp thermometer will reset itself within 20 seconds after it has been removed from the patient's mouth. So be ready to read and record the patient's temperature while you are waiting for the 60 to 90 seconds to go by. Remove the thermometer from the patient's mouth and immediately read and record the indicated temperature. If for some reason you could not read the patient's temperature in time, you may reuse the same thermometer on the same patient and repeat the process. Remember to wash your hands before you reuse the thermometer. If you intend to reuse a thermometer on the same patient, it must be cleaned with an alcohol prep swab after every use and stored appropriately in its wrapper in the patient file. Never soak the thermometer in alcohol or any other cleaning or disinfecting liquid. Remember, the next temp thermometer may only be reused on inpatients. If the next temp thermometer has been damaged, deformed or contaminated, throw it away and use a new one. By using the next temp thermometer, we reduce the risk of cross-infection and reinfection that often occurs with other thermometers. Remember, the next temp thermometer is super accurate and has no shakedown time, which is good news for all of us. The next temp thermometer can also be used to measure axillary or under the arm temperatures. To take an axillary measurement, place the thermometer's grid end high up in the fold of the patient's armpit, with the dotted grid facing towards the torso. Ask the patient to close their arm and hold the thermometer in place for at least three minutes. Remove the thermometer after three minutes and read the measurement immediately. That wasn't so bad now, was it, Chili? Mm-mm. Bye, boys. <laughs> 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 with those guys see luscious together we can make it better <laughs>